I'm going to teach you guys how to make a 20 ounce sublimation tumbler in the all-in-one cup press. You can find this cup press link below. It'll come with the cheat sheet setting so you guys will know what temperature and time to use per material. So for stainless steel, for glass, and ceramic, it's all different, but that is all on the cheat sheet. So we are doing a stainless steel 20 ounce. You've got um, our sublimation blank and we've got our sublimation print. Your print will be mirrored. Um, so when you sublimate it, it'll be pressed the correct way. All right, so we are going to take our print. It's already cut out. I don't cut the edges off because there's no need to do that. Um, I am going to go ahead and wrap it around. Now the trick is to keep it so you can still see it so you can line it up and make sure that your print wraps all the way around your cup so whenever you are done taping it you can have like the freedom to slide it um, to be able to position it where you want it. I always start taping in the middle. I just squeeze really tight and tape it down. I do one at the top one in the middle and one at the bottom. That is all the tape you need when you're using an all-in-one cut press and you follow the steps that I do. <laughs> um, you can do it your own way. Okay, so I did tape it down at the top so that way it doesn't slide around whenever I am um, pressing it just because this paper that I am using is not my typical paper that I use and it usually has a grip to the tumbler but this one does not so it slides anyways um, so I did tape it in place okay so once you have your heat press heated up to the temperature you can put your cup in and close your press now before you heat your t heat press up you want to set the pressure to the cup size that you are doing now because this is an all-in-one cup press the knobs on the back um, is how you adjust the pressure. You don't need to change out like the heating element itself. So we're gonna give it 60 seconds and then I'm gonna show you guys what we do next. While it is pressing, I will say that you need to have good ventilation when you are sublimating um, anything, honestly. Even if you're heat pressing t-shirts, you should always have good ventilation. Um, we're going to rotate this and then we're gonna press it again. All right, so the press does have an alarm. It, will go off automatically and will shut off once you open it. Um, the next thing I will suggest you guys to do is to pull your tumblers clear out to the end and just press each end for 10 seconds and then rotate it and press again. That'll help you avoid the ghosting. Um, you can also do a check and I'll show you how to do that. When you're finished pressing the full tumbler, I would highly recommend you press the end and you can do that by just putting the end of this um, in and then you can check it by doing that to make sure that you don't have ghosting. It looks good but I'm going to do the ends just to okay, be sure. So now I'm going to flip the cup and do the other end, 10 seconds each end and you can check the ghosting on it. This is just my technique, it works for me. Um, if you are planning to use my equipment, like the heat press um, that I supply, this is the way that I would suggest that you would learn how to do it just because it's what works for my presses. Um, here is our finished product. And if you guys want further instructions on how to make these tumblers, you can sign up for our online sublimation tumbler class, and it'll teach you everything from making your own designs, purchasing designs, um, sizing your designs for every cup, and everything like that. Printing the equipment to use to print your own designs, all of that goodness. So I'm gonna turn you around and show you guys what this looks like without the mirrored look. This is our finished product. I did purchase this design. I hope this video helped.